If family and fun are slightly ahead of fishing for that prize catch in the list of priorities, if comfortable seating and a stable ride are important to you, then a multi-hole pontoon boat may be just what you're looking for. Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, we're featuring boats that are as stable as a dock but can keep up with a ski boat. These are pontoon boats in the 20 to 27 foot range. Not just for lakes anymore, these saltwater series aluminum pontoons are built to stand up to a marine environment and offer high speed performance. Some key features to look for in this class are an extra large bimini top that offers lots of shade and is constructed of a heavy duty framework to handle high speed runs. A wet bar table combination is a nice addition for entertaining or laying out a picnic lunch. Pontoons designed for high-speed performance, stable turns, and lots of horsepower separates these vessels from pontoon boats of the past. If your pontoon boat is going to double as your fishing boat, a pair of bow-mounted pedestal seats are a must. Another feature that will add to the fishability of a pontoon boat is an aerated live well. Comfortable seating at the helm and for all your guests is what draws many people to this category of watercraft. If you're looking for a large, stable platform that will allow you to fish, cruise, and still have exhilarating performance, you may want to look at a pontoon boat in the 20 to 27 foot range that will let you take the maximum amount of people out in comfort and may be the best boat for you. Join our hosts Dave East and Rick Riles as we feature three pontoon boats that are designed for fishing, water sports, or just cruising down the Intracoastal. Silver Wave 250 Island SB, Beachcombers 22 by Fiesta, and the Harris Crown 250. They'll be conducting walkthroughs, test drives, and reviewing key features, all to help you decide if this is the best boat for you. Hi, and welcome to this edition of Best Boat. I'm Dave East, boating editor of Florida Sportsman Magazine. And I'm Rick Riles, program director of Florida Sportsman Radio Network. What we're going to be looking at today are three pontoon boats. And really, the only similarity is they're all pontoon boats, but the three that we brought are on all different ends of the spectrum. We've got a big one, which is a Harris, We've got one that fits right in the middle, which is a Silver Wave, and we've got the smaller one, which is a Fiesta. And let me tell you something, Dave. 20 years ago, we'd have never been two fishing guys talking about pontoon boats. Pontoon boats have jumped into salt water and jumped into fishing in a big way. Well, you're right, because what the manufacturers have done now is they've marinized them. That means they're using, they're using stainless steel hardware, tinned wire. They're building these boats that can handle a saltwater environment. Not only do they not rust, there's a lot of things you do in salt water that these boats really excel at. Well, they're very stable platforms, but really what you're seeing in design now is you're seeing tri-tunes and boats that handle massive horsepower. You know, the old pontoon boats had a little 40 horse motor put it around the lake. <laughs> Not these. These boats are running in excess of 50 miles an hour. Well, that's right. Uh, you know the old Little Big Town song, partying in slow motion? That doesn't apply to these boats. These boats move, they get you where they want to go, and you can do a lot of things on them, Dave. You can keep your whole family happy in a day on the water on these boats. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment is brought to you by Costa Del Mar. See what's out there. Florida Sportsman, the source for fishing in the outdoors since 1969. Florida's largest fishing and outdoors magazine. Year-round TV with real-time Florida Sportsman and Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Florida's number one online resource. Over 8 million page views a month. Live reports from the water every Saturday morning. Hands-on instruction, seminars, and demonstrations. Books, charts, and more. Become part of the Florida Sportsman community today. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we'll be featuring 20 to 27 foot pontoon boats. Dave and Rick started off with the Silver Wave 250 Island. All right, Rick, welcome aboard the Silver Wave. This model is their 250 SL. She's 25 feet long. It's a tri tune, so it's got three pontoons and it's got a single 250 Suzuki on the back, so this thing really gets up and moves. Dave, the first impression I got of this boat, though, is the amount of room on it. I mean, it's got comfortable captain's chairs all around. But gosh, you could, you could have a lot of people in here without getting in each other's way. Well, you could. You have three lounges, you got the three captain's chairs, you got this great table back here that can be used for grilling or making a sandwich and, or whatever you want it to do. But for versatility, for diving, fishing, or just taking the family out cruising, this boat is laid out perfect. All right, Rick, the ladder that you're standing on, it's all powder coated, it's aluminum. What I love about it is it's got three rungs that drop deep into the water. So when you swim up to the boat, that first step, it's at a comfortable height. You're not having to hike your knee up to get out of the right. water. Even for a short guy, so it's easy in and out on this ladder. Hey, Dave, here's something you never saw on the last generation of pontoon boats. If this was a 40 horse, 
There wouldn't be any need for this <laughs> ski harness right here. This thing scoots along and that ski harness is in the perfect position. Well, with a 250 horsepower motor, you can pull a slalom, you can pull a pair, a pair of tubes, any water toy out there, this boat will drag it. All right, Rick, as we move forward, like I said earlier, there are three lounges, the three super comfortable captain's chairs, they've got fold down armrest, and there's storage galore. Everywhere you look, there's a place to put something. You have storage here, the backrest lifts up, all the gear you want to bring, your PFDs, any kind of camping equipment, if you're going to take this boat to the islands camping, it can all store out of the way. How cool is this? You take this and store your gas grill. If you want a cooler sandwich, just fine. Put whatever you want in there. What a perfect thing to cook on, make sandwiches, got your drink holder set up, play a game of cards, it's ideal. If we're in the boat, you can lift it like you just did to get your cooler right. and grill. But let's say we're at the sandbar and I'm standing in this much water and I wade up to the boat. You reach over, you pull this, this opens up. Now I can get to the cooler. I don't have to crawl back in the That's boat. That's pretty cool. I'll give you that. That's pretty cool. And you know the quality of their construction. If you look at all the aluminum, the ladder, the tow bar, all the railings, the bimini top, it's all powder coated aluminum. Yeah. And boy, does that make a difference. It's not so much rust. It's the pitting that drives you crazy mm -hmm. if you're around it. And that's where powder coating has really come on and taken on strong in the marine industry, is it prevents the pitting. Rick, and talking a little bit more about this powder coated bimini top, it's really big, it covers a big majority of the boat, but the way they've got it with these little fittings, it's so easy to maneuver. You can lay it all the way down with these small legs for trailering, you can leave it in the radar arch position, but there's no pins or anything like that to remove, just a quick release button. A hot day, a rainy day, you will appreciate a bimini, and you can store them on today's boats like we never could back 20 years ago. Try out this helm. I ran this boat earlier, and this is the most comfortable place on the boat. This really feels like the helm of a bass boat. It just, you kind of down in, it's wrapped around you. It looks like it's built for high, look at this, we got a GPS and a bottom machine on a pontoon boat, are you kidding me? Not only that, your seat, it swivels, it slides fore and aft, and you've got oh, here adjustable we go. Steering. Oh, you ain't kidding now, here we go. And another thing I love about the helm, additional storage. You ready for that cold drink? Yes, sir. Cooler slides out. I like that. Easy access to your cooler. I don't know when the first time was I saw a, a cooler on a sliding tray like that. That's the best idea ever. You know what was wrong with the old generation of pontoon boats that kept fishermen out of them? What's that? Carpeting. All right, think about how nice this non-skid is. Well, especially here in Florida, you know how brutal the sun is. It beats on everything. This is going to last a lot longer than even the best carpet. Sure it is. This is going to look a lot better. Hit it with a hose and it's clean. All right, Rick, there's three swing gates on this boat, one four, one aft, and this one's made for docking. Let me show you something. Put your hand right here while I open this up. <laughs> no, I don't think so, Dave. Trust me. Trust you? Yeah, right. Trust me. Trust you? Yeah. Okay. All right, watch this. Hey, whoa, that's pretty cool. No pinch hinges. I mean, there are little hands all over, especially when you get little kids on board. That's a place where they're going to pinch themselves yep. eventually. This eliminates that. It's actually a patented thing that's, that uh, Silver Wave has on their boats. The Silver Wave, it's the middle boat that we brought. We've got the Fiesta, which you know is smaller. We had the Harris, which was larger with twin power. But you know, if you want the luxury of the bigger boat and you want the utility of the smaller boat, this middle-sized boat might be your so best So it makes boat. a strong case, Dave, it really does. For a pontoon boat, this one makes a very strong case that it might be the best boat for you. Stay tuned for this week's Florida Sportsman Best Boat Seminar. It's 200 streamlined horsepower of Yamaha forward thinking. The all new F200 inline four stroke. Whether you're an offshore angler, pontoon cruiser, bay boater, or walleye hunter, the responsive and fuel efficient F200 combines amazing power and versatility in one incredibly compact and lightweight package. The all new F200. Legendary Yamaha reliability and the freedom of forward thinking. This segment is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Welcome back. Here's Dave and Rick with this week's Florida Sportsman Best Boat Seminar. All right, Rick, this whole episode has been about pontoon boats. And one of the neat things you're going to do in a pontoon boat is you're going to beach it. You're going to go to the sandbar, the shore of a lake. At some point in time, you're going to put this nose up on the beach. Of course you are, Dave. Pontoon boats are all about kids and family, OK? If you think your kids are going to stay on the boat for six hours without getting bored, you're nuts. You're going to have to find a sandbar for them to run around on. Let's talk a little bit about places where you don't want to beach. Well, you certainly don't want to beach anywhere where there's oysters. 
For one thing, somebody's going to get their foot cut up when they get out of the boat. And for another thing, you're going to scratch your boat up badly pulling up on the oyster bars. Right. Any place where there's riprap or stumps or anything like that, that's really not a place to beach. One, it's not a place you're going to swim anyway. So there's really no reason to put the boat there. It's better anchor safely offshore and then do your picnic or whatever you're going to do on the boat out there. But if you do want to get off on the beach, you need to pick a place like this. Nice, soft sand. Nothing here to hurt the boat. Nothing here to hurt your feet. And safe, successful boating is all about being aware all the time. So be aware when you pull up on that sandbar. Is the tide coming in? Or am I going to be in deeper water? Or is the tide going out? Do I need to watch and make sure it doesn't go all the way out from under my boat? So really, the best thing to do is look at the bottom you're going to be beaching the boat on and watch the tides and don't get caught. And have a good time on the sandbar. Don't forget to take the dog. They love it. Well, Dave, welcome aboard the Fiesta Beachcomber 22, the Family Fisher Edition. Well, you know what, Rick? The first thing I noticed, this is the smallest of the three boats we brought, but this thing has really laid out for an angler. Well, that's right. This guy, the guy that's going to buy this boat, has got a family, and they want to be in on the boat, and they want to do all the things you do with the boat, but he wants to fish, and he can do it from this boat. Well, I see rod holders. you got a really easy deck to clean. This boat, to take it out and fish, it's ready. Well, you're right. Uh, there's plenty of room for the water skis and the all the rafts and all the stuff that the kids want to play with. You can bring a grill and grill on the sandbar, but when you get ready to fish, it's set up to do it. Well, I like the size, too, because there's some of the places that we go, especially in the freshwater lakes, I couldn't get a big boat. This boat will fit. Dave, do you know how much easier it is to trailer a pontoon boat that's just this much smaller and this much lower in profile? I mean, the big fronted, the big high-sided pontoon boats, put up a lot of wind resistance, they're not as easy to trailer as this boat is. Right, well, like we have said over and over again, everything's a compromise. I look at a smaller engine, a smaller package, I need a smaller tow vehicle. This boat might really just fit. You're going to burn less fuel. We're talking about a 150, okay? And it's, it's plenty fast enough. Believe me, I drove it. It's as fast as I want to go in a pontoon boat. And yet, it's not going to burn as much fuel as what the bigger engine is. Well, you know what? I didn't get a chance to look at this boat yet. Show me it. Okay, I want to start up here on the front. Dave, stuff I like about this boat starts all the way up here. We got room for two swivel seats right here. You can put a trolling motor in the middle between us. We could fish out here and not be in anybody's way. We could almost use this like a bass boat because the boat's small enough where the electric will pull you around. Oh, you're right. You get the right, sound, right pound thrust trolling motor with this. You're perfect. Now, you step back into the cockpit. Right here, you've got your rod holder. You want to just soak a half a crab on the bottom? For a drum while your kids are swimming, fine. Well, you've got a couch over on this side. And what I love about these pontoon boats, lots of storage. PFDs, if we're going to bring water toys or whatever, we have a place to put them and it's out of the way. Dave, as we work our way back, I like these two doors right here. Easy access stepping off the dock or stepping on to tie it up. Easy access coming off the sandbar, coming in the side of the boat. Well, you know, a lot of people dive off of these pontoon boats, too. And if I got my gear on, it's so much easier getting on and in and out of the water right there. Oh, yes, it is. Step back to this helm. How do you like that? Wow. This is very comfortable. You know, this is just as comfortable as the other two boats. I didn't think it was going to be. Doesn't feel like being in a bass boat or a high-performance boat. I mean, it's just really neat. Everything's where it belongs, but you're kind of tucked in here. Enough windshield to keep the wind off your face. Controls where they belong. I like it. Yeah, I do too. You know, you'll notice this control right here. Here's something you don't see on a pontoon boat very often. A power pole. It's excellent. We all know it's the deadliest way to anchor your boat to fish because the fish never hear the anchor on the bottom or going in and out of the boat. But you just pull up close to a sandbar on a falling tide, you never have to worry about getting stuck and having to push your way off because the power pole is going to hold you off the bank. Rick, I really like the layout of this too because with the L-shaped seating back here, if I'm driving the boat and I've got several people with me, we're all right here and we can hold a conversation. Right, you're exactly right. You don't have somebody up on the bow stuck by themselves because you can only see one or two pe more people back here. This probably is the most functional way for your family to sit when you're going out in the boat. Right. And the table, really, that kind of tops it off. If we're going to have lunch, place to set our coats or whatever, it's really a nice touch. Yeah, it's a good layout. All right, Rick, you know, the more I look at this Fiesta, I really like the construction of it. On their side and their back panels, this is a piece of foam that's got aluminum laminated to both sides, so it's super strong, but it's very lightweight. Well, that's right. And the more weight you keep off a boat, of course, Dave, the less it drafts. You're right. This one's simple and functional. I really like this bar. We saw it on the other boats, too. You can pull a water ski or pull a tuber. 
pull stuff that the old pontoon boats could never do, and once again, the easy on ladder. This ladder sets low enough in the water to where you don't have a big first step to board your boat. Well, if you look at the size of the pontoons too, this boat is really high out of the water. Even though there's only two pontoons, the other boats we looked at obviously had three, we're still way high out of the water because of the size of these. Yeah, the boat doesn't draft very much at all. All right, so really in a small package, they've got a lot of features in this boat. We can take it out, we can pull a water toy, we can take it out fishing, we can take it out diving, and just really take it out to have fun. Yeah, you're right, it's a day on the water in itself, which is the whole thing behind the whole genre of pontoon boats. But this one's an excellent representative of that group. Well, it's the smallest of the three that we brought today. It's got the smallest engine. Obviously, it's going to cost the less. It's going to be easier to pull. And if you don't have a lot of people you're going to be taking out or you're not going to try and punch out offshore, this might be the right size boat. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. I love spending time with my kids outdoors, especially when they're doing something they love. Although I do not actively fish, I like to play my part. By purchasing a fishing license, it supports youth programs, wildlife enforcement, access to fishing, and many more things that allow us to have a safe, fun time outdoors. These are the reasons I do have my Florida fishing license. When filming for Florida Sportsman Best Boat, the cast and crew stayed at Pirates Cove Resort and Marina in Stewart, Florida. Family owned and operated, featuring 50 renovated rooms with an outstanding restaurant and a full service 50 slip marina. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we're featuring 20 to 27 foot pontoon boats. All right, Rick, we're aboard the Harris Crown 260, and they've named it right because this is the crown jewel of pontoon boats. <laughs> Dave, it is. It's funny. You know, everything in a boat, we've been through it on every episode, is a compromise. But sometimes the compromise has to involve the entire family. And sometimes the compromise has to involve being able to do a whole lot of things. There's an awful lot of things you can do from a pontoon boat that people don't think about. Well, I'm looking at this boat and maybe there's no compromise on this boat because we've got a front deck where we can fish. We've got plenty of seating to bring the family and part of the neighborhood. You've got a little rear deck I could easily see diving off of. This would be a mini season machine. Dude, it'd be a spec machine. Think about loading up your family and floating across Lake Harris. Okay, catching specs, listening to the football game. I mean, just relaxing, your wife's alongside. It, I mean, it works. If you think about it, for the things that you can do in a pontoon boat, this really, really works. Well, long gone are the days of the pokey old pontoon boat with a little 40 horse motor and putting across the lake. This boat has twin 300s, <laughs> it flies. You've got joystick control for docking, because a boat this size in the wind may be a little bit of a handful to a novice, but with the joystick, you can pull up, do it sideways, bring it right into the dock, right out of the dock. They've made operating this boat very, very simple. I didn't understand uh, the pontoon boat craze until I got on a lake recently and I, we were doing some TV shoot and I had to spend some time. Every single boathouse on the lake had a pontoon boat. Well, Harris has actually stepped it up because they call this one a saltwater edition. So they've done some things to protect it from the environment. So you can use this boat in a saltwater environment. Dave, you know, we've called this thing a pontoon boat, just the name that you always think of these. It's actually a tritune. Well, yeah, you're right. It does have another pontoon that runs right down the center of the boat. And that's going to give us more displacement so we can support more weight. Displacement, okay. I'm a fisherman. I don't know what a pontoon boat displaces. What does that mean? Well, all boats, they float by displacement. And it's a real simple thing. For every pound of water you displace, you can support a pound of weight. So if you take the volume of water, you weigh it, you displace that much weight, you can support that much weight. This boat could carry 10, maybe 15 people, plus dive gear, you've got twin 300s. Dave, you got 600 horsepower hanging back there. Right. This isn't a 30 horsepower your dad's pontoon boat. No, no, no. This boat can get very heavy if you load it up with all the people. So you've got to have that extra pontoon to keep it floating high in the water. All right, Rick, I know you come from the world of sport fish. You're looking for a tower and a fly bridge. <laughs> You're not going to find it on this boat. <laughs> but you do have a little front deck out here. You and I can easily stand out here and fish. And if we have kids aboard, you've got a nice gate here that locks. So we can stay out there, but yet you're still going to keep your kids confined back here and safe. Dave, I'm telling you, I have stood on polling platforms that weren't this high. This part of it I would thoroughly enjoy. You can fish off of this thing easily. Another thing I like, too, with the stability of a pontoon boat, it's just that. Very, very stable. So as people are moving and walking around the boat, you're not going to get that movement from side to side. 
And you can, as we work our way back, everywhere you look, you've got couches, you've got seating, you've got lounges. This is a very, very comfortable boat. I have no question whether it's comfortable or not. Is it utilitarian enough to count as a fishing boat? That's what interests me, and I got to tell you, there's things on it I like. Well, you got the cup holders, you've got built-in high-intensity headlights, you've got all the cushy stuff, but if you really look past that, with the front and rear decks, with the insulated wells and stuff, you could easily fish or dive off of this boat. Rick, over here on the port side, you've got a nice side door. If you're swimming or diving, this makes entry and egress a lot easier, but if I'm pulled up to a dock, especially for older people or younger kids, this is so much easier to get on off the it boat. sure makes getting on and off easier, doesn't it? Absolutely. You know, Dave, I'm starting to warm to this whole concept. This is pretty doggone comfortable sitting here. This is a gentleman's style boat right here. It really is, and if you look at the way you're sitting, you know, the ergonomics of this, it looks like you're in an SUV or a big motorhome. You've got that same profile. You've got that same feel to it. You're absolutely right. Well, when you look at the dash, all your controls are there. You've got tilt steering. Your stereo controls are here. You don't even have a key to start this boat. You have to put in a special code. That's going to keep it safe if you leave it in the marina overnight. Well, you're absolutely right. It's also at it, it, ease of operation. You don't have to worry about your kids taking it out on Sunday afternoon when you don't want them to. You just don't have to give them the code. Rick, and one more thing before we leave the helm area. I've already pulled the safety pin. There's a little button right there called Power Top. If you're going to trailer this boat, which really can be pulled behind a half-ton pickup truck, you can lower this top hydraulically to stop all the windage. No, I, I tell you what, they've thought of an awful lot. They started this thing. I don't think they used a blueprint for anything to build this boat. I think this boat was built as a totally new concept. Rick, to round out the Harris, they've got a really nice small deck on the back. Ooh. You've got a flip down ladder. You can fish from back here, but more importantly, on the top of the radar arch, you have a tow bit for pulling water toys. So getting on and off the boat with the ladder, this is where you're swimming, where you're diving, where you're pulling somebody on the tube, makes it so much easier getting in and out of the boat. You know, Dave, coming from hardcore fishing boats, I really didn't know what to expect with this episode and this boat, but I can tell you this boat defines comfort. It is luxurious from bow to stern. It's an awfully nice way to relax. I gotta hand it to them. If you're looking for a boat to be comfortable in, this might be the best boat for you. If you're looking for a boat with the maximum amount of comfort without giving up the ability to cast a line, then a pontoon boat in the 20 to 27 foot range might just be the best boat for you. For more information on these boats that you've seen today and all of the boats that we tested during Best Boat, go to floridasportsman.com, click on the boating page, and go to the Best Boat link. And we'll see you next week on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Be sure to join us next week when we cover 28 to 32 foot center consoles on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Each month, turn to Florida Sportsman for the best in boating and fishing coverage.